um, there it is. So we can stand here because it's a bit more anonymous here. It's an, it's an overpass. I'm just looking at the shocking sight. Um, for whatever reason, I want to collect my own footage of it. Um, as I say, it's what, what happened to create the fires. It's, we all seem to know now. We know um, about the fact that it was the cladding on the outside um, and that it went in and that it was a reasonable structure otherwise. But the story behind it is the main thing. The reason why this was allowed to happen in the first place is, is it wasn't maybe so much as a conscious decision to use the, the, the cheaper cladding as they did, um, but, but it was in it was an endemic in an attitude that they had the authorities in charge the, towards people in social housing, because people who lived in that block up until um, 2017, June 2017, there was a there was a tenants blog. They were writing about all the issues that they were facing, and one of them is something that's really conducive to, to, to creating a fire, which is electrical surges, which destroyed people's equipment, PCs, washing machines. Now that they think that the fire uh, started in a fridge. So just think everybody that walks past here is knows, knows what I'm doing. And uh, I don't live in London and so on and so on. So it's, this is how awkward it can, it can be. Um, sorry. Yeah. I don't want to be in a video. I think what's interesting here is, just lift it above this person as well, um, is that uh, those bottom blocks there, um, there were there were about, maybe it looks more than that, maybe 12 flats or so that, um, that are completely unscathed. And I hope they allow people to take things back. Just like if you've seen a new ferry, you know, where I've interviewed Christopher Power and, you know, he was able to retrieve most things um, except furniture. 